guys, welcome to the episode six of the face of one of the kind photography. The show must go on. The show must go on. Yeah, yeah. The show must go on. The show must. Hey, you think you're one of a kind? Yeah, yeah. I can tell how you pose, how you move. The camera loving everything you do. Top model of the crew. You better show it. Yeah, yeah. Tell us nothing left to prove. Every challenge you would talk to Number one about the guys or the dudes Like, come on, let us face it You know who the face is We ain't got the time All these other models space it Don't even my line Couldn't tell me who the favorite Just one of a kind At a time that we take it But The show must go on The show must go on Yeah, yeah The show must go on The show must Last week, the contestants had to wobble their way to the top, literally, because they were on four feet stilts. And they had to do a special photo shoot with some German shepherds. Listen, this elimination was spicy, okay? We let the top contestants choose who from the bottom three contestants will be eliminated. However, there was a blue team versus red team rivalry. When the cameras were off, the tension in the air was high, okay? Words were said, tears were shed. It was definitely blue team versus red. The competition is hot. For the first challenge this week, the contestants will be participating in an urban theme photo shoot. Each team, with the help of their mentors, had to plan their outfits for this challenge. Which team will produce the best images for their first team photo shoot? Find out now. For this challenge, each team was given three minutes to strike their best poses. First up, the red team. Let's go, Donnie, you ready? Let's go. 35 seconds, Donnie. let's go. Good. Switch. Everybody stand up. I'm standing right here. Align yourself. Get in there. Switch me. Ricky, put your shirt back a little bit. Let me show the necklaces, but put your shirt back a little bit. Yeah.
Chema, you can stoop. Like, stoop. You'll be able to put like one leg in front of another one. Yeah, like so. But Chema, go back a little bit. Out of frame looking Lonnie. Honestly, I feel awesome to be honest because like I didn't expect myself to like get this far but you know, I got this far. I feel great. Um, not to sound cocky but I kind of knew I would make it this far but I'm very um, thankful that I did. So yeah, I'm proud of myself. I don't want to sound cocky but I'm not surprised. Um, I think I'm like the most experienced on set so you know, I think we're going to third week. That was a fun theme challenge, wasn't it? For this week's singles challenge, the contestants will be modeling in swimwear from our Bohemian local brand. Good morning, contestants. Good morning. So for today's single challenge, each of you will be modeling swimwear by top local Bohemian brands. For the females, you have V Shanzi, Troppy Swim, and Adora by one of one of a kind's resident models, Camellia. And for the guys, you'll be sporting swim trunks by Pisces Swim. Now the purpose of today's challenge is to produce eye-catching images that will sell these swimwear. One of the most important attributes for models, especially in print, is to be able to sell a product. So you have to think about your pose, your posture in a way that will definitely sell these swimwear. Alright guys? Now, in addition to the swimwear, to help you guys look even more fantastic, you guys will be oiled up by special handmade products by Bahama Glow. Are you guys ready? So today's challenge will be swimmer, will be swimmer as Kishon, um explained earlier. The swimmer challenge will be the first ever one of a kind shoot off. So you guys will be paired up. You guys will be paired up and each pair would have the same scenery, the same amount of time, the same swimmer look and shot by the same photographer. At the end of the shoot, each contestant with the best um, effort, that put in the best effort, has the best photos and just did overall great, will be safe and the other person will be eliminated, okay? So today five females will be going home and four guys will be going home, all right? Before the singles challenge, we allow the contestants from the winning team to select their own opponents. Let's see how this will turn out. I didn't think it was fair enough to eliminate someone based on last, the last Urban Challenge because we had so much going on. But at the same time, I feel like a team should still have won that challenge. And the winning team from that challenge will, the contestants from that winning team will be able to select who they want to pair up against for the swimwear challenge, all right? Okay, and the winning team for that challenge, the pink team, you are not the winning team, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> The pink team, unfortunately, this, is, this, this was the last team challenge. So the pink team, that you didn't win any of the team challenges, unfortunately, okay? Blue team, you had one win. And I think red team, you also had one win. This was just my way of kind of motivating the pink team a little bit. Let them know that they didn't win a team challenge. But this is the week to step up and show out individually and step up they did and the winning team is the red team
All right, guys, so before you pick your pairs, I have a surprise for you guys. Every season we have a wild card vote. We have two wild card votes, basically, but me and Patria, we decided to, to put our wild card votes into one person this season because we haven't been doing much eliminations. And the one person that will be back is from the blue team, is Bailey. <laughs> Okay, guys, so Bailey is back, and it's time to pick your team. There were three contestants that were not able to make it this week's taping due to circumstances out of their control. However, they were granted the opportunity to shoot at a later date. All right, red team, it's time for you to select, each of you to select who you would like to be faced off against in the one of a kind shoot off. Um, first person, Ramon, please step up and choose your person. Gotta speak loudly. The person I choose to go against is Cameron. Okay, Cameron, please step forward. All right, so Cameron from the blue team and Ramon from the red team will be faced off. You guys could step off. All right, India, who do you want to face off against? The person I choose to face off against is Olivia. All right, step forward, Olivia. All right, Olivia versus India. Okay, blue team, they, they, take, they take in. They're coming for you guys. They're coming for you guys. All right, let's go, Juliet. Step forward. The person I choose is Jason E. Okay, Melanie. it's getting spicy. It's getting spicy. <laughs> All right, it's getting spicy. Okay, let's go, McLean. The person I select is Silas. <laughs> okay, Alexi, who do you choose to face off against? The person I choose to go against is Shima. Okay, Shima is not here at the moment, so Shima will do a shoot next week. All right, let's go, Aaron. All right, Aaron, who do you choose to go against? Uh, the person that I choose is the one and only Ralph Vision. Uh, Ralph Okay, Raw versus Aaron. Okay, Ricky, who do you, who would you like to face off against? The person I'll be facing off against today is Daniel. Okay, Daniel, step forward. Okay, so Daniel versus Ricky. For the final pairings, Bailey was added to Alexia and Shima's matchup. Angel and Krista got matched up together while teammates Desmond and Jermaine had to face off along with blue team's Justin. Okay guys, so for this challenge, I told the contestants, I let the contestants know that you'll be judged on your effort, 
photos and your overall performance on the shoot because anyone can take a great photo with the right photographer but are you doing what you're teaching you throughout the competition are you outdoing your opponent your competition let's see who did How do you feel about today's challenge? Today's challenge, I felt confident mainly because um, you were the, the challenge allowed me to do like have my own spin on it. Like we were set in a place whereby like you know you could shoot on this scene, shoot on this scene, shoot on this scene. So it's just like it's more versatile, and you get to do what makes you more comfortable. It wasn't like okay, you have to pose pose with some. It was, it was more so being yourself. So that that's easy from easier for anyone. So that's what I'm talking about. Uh, it was it was uh, it was different, and I find it to be very interesting, but it's very fun. Uh, I feel very confident in myself. Uh, of course, there's a few things I have to work on, but I feel as though I feel as though I kind of killed it. So yeah. I feel pretty content with the challenge, you know, things went pretty good, you know, nice scene. It was dope, content with that as well. Uh, there was somebody from the red team, the red team, Aaron, yeah, he chose me. So hopefully if I win, you know, he get what he's looking for. So we'll see what's up with that. Uh, today's challenge, I felt pretty uh, not in my comfort zone. I did not feel I was great about this competition that we did but 
to be honest, I still gave my best and gave it all I had. So I felt that I did pretty good. So, yeah. I feel very confident. I love the swimsuit that I was in and I feel like I used the area we were given very well. All right, that's great. Um, how do you feel about the person that you were paired with? Do you think it was a good match? Yeah, I do. I mean, we didn't shoot together, but I feel like she was strong, but I am still confident in myself. Today's challenge was very, very fun. I feel like I really stepped out of the box for me. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, how do you feel about the person you were paired with for this challenge? Oh, I was paired with Krista, which I would say she's one of my biggest competitors. But I think being with her really helped me to step outside of the box and really go above and beyond what I know I can do. Okay, um, in what ways do you feel that you went above and beyond in Krista today? Cool. The poses that I did, <laughs> I was all in the dirt. I used the hose. I was like rocking it around myself, so I really went out.
I mean, McLean, you're my boy, right? But you just set yourself up for failure. I feel sorry for you. I just eat you alive, bro. I think today's challenge was good. You know, I'm on my home first, so I got to do what I got to do. Uh, first, I was trying to up against Silas. Uh, I feel like I have a pretty good chance. Um, Silas is on the ropes, so we're going to see what happens. I felt like I did awesome. I came out of my comfort zone and I really worked my, my stage where I have to work more. Um, well, normally when I was taking my pictures, I just was like cruising, I guess was laid back. But now I really like step out of the box. Like I really put my best foot forward. Uh, well, they teamed me up against my partner, but other than that, we did good. The team after we did good. The challenge was very, I'll say unique. Love the area that we're in. Um, going against another person, kind of brings out the, the whole competition vibe so it really was nice for me um it was kind of i didn't know how to feel going against my own teammate but at the end of the day it is a competition so i have to do what i have to do but it was pretty good
good about it. I was confident myself. I feel like I went out my comfort zone to do like extra poses, weird poses, setting up my back, all of that. Yeah. Um, I feel like she's a very strong competitor and that's all I have to say. Okay, so do you feel as though you performed better than her in this challenge? Yes, I do. She did really, really well, but I just feel like in my heart I did better. And even if I didn't, or if I get at home, I know I did the best that I could. Um, I think she did really well. Like I was there throughout her whole shoot, so like I even held the diffuser for her. She did really well. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see who won, really, because I think it was quite close. Okay, great. Um, why did you choose Olivia to go against? Um, well, our team had a bit of a strategy. Um, I'm not gonna explain the whole strategy, but um, basically we just thought that me going against Olivia was the best thing for the whole team, not just for me individually. Okay, great. Um, how do you feel that you did in this challenge? Do you feel that you outperformed her in this challenge today? Um, like I said, I think it was really, really close. So we'll, we're gonna have to see what the judges say. But I mean, I'm confident in what I did. I thought my photos were nice and you know, I was comfortable with the horse. Um, I like horses, like I said. We'll see. I felt as if today's challenge was definitely unique. I had a lot of fun doing it and I can't wait to see the results. Um, I think she did a good job, but I think I did better. I think it went pretty well. I gave it my all. I had a lot of confidence. Thank you.
was pretty interesting. I would have loved to be near the water, seeing they were in a swimsuit, but had to make whatever background I had work. Well, it was quite interesting. We were already, um, beforehand we were kind of warned. So we already had, I already had in my mind who I would have wanted to go against so or who I didn't want to go against. But my, my choice to me was a pretty good choice. I feel pretty good about it. Um, I think that I worked my angles well and I think that I closed well. I improved the look of angles. I feel confident about it. I think that she has a really unique look and she's a strong model as well. But I am confident in myself. I think it was really different, so that was good because I got to be really creative. Do you feel as though your performance today will put you ahead, whether or not you know how she did? Yes, I really do. I think I was really creative and I did really like unique things and different stuff, so I feel like it will. I chose Shima, but Billy was added to my team. I chose Shima because I felt like she would be good competition for me, given that she's more experienced than I am. I felt like I did great and I had a lot of fun and that's really what, what matters. Alright guys, so for this week we were unable to do eliminations on film. We had to do it virtually, so here are the results. Okay, so for the first matchup we saw Ramon beating Cameron from the blue team. For the second matchup we saw Raw Vision defeat Aaron from the red team. I mean, a part of this challenge was if you're gonna pick your opponents, then you should defeat your opponent. It shouldn't be a did she win or did he win. It should be a clear win. In matchup number three, we saw Angel taking a slight win over Crystal. Like both of these contestants, just so you know, one of them just brought it. But I just felt like Angel brought it from the start of her shoot to the end of her shoot. When Crystal just picked it up on like the ending of her shoot. But not to take anything away from them, both are really great, great competitors. For matchup number four, we saw Silas defeat McLean. For the next matchup, Justin took the loss while Pink Team, Desmond, and Jermaine advanced to the next round. For matchup number five, we saw Olivia get a slight win over India. For the next matchup, we saw Jason e get the win over Juliet. I just felt like 
Juliet is a very strong model, but her mind was not into this into this shoot, and it showed in her performance and in her photos. For the next matchup, we saw Danielle from the paint team get a slight win over Rakia. I just felt like Rakia had this mindset that she's not a swimwear model, and it came off in her performance, it came off in her photos, and Danielle just improved, and I have to award persons who are using the competition to improve. I have to award a good effort, and Danielle gave a better effort than Rakia. For the final matchup, Shima was unable to complete this challenge. Hence, Alexia and Bailey will advance the next week challenges. Okay guys, so because the win margin for three rounds were so close, for the round with Indy and Olivia, Krista and Angel, and Ricky and Daniel, I decided to give Krista, Rakia, and India a second chance in a wild card round. I just felt like Krista, Andy, and Rakia have been three heavyweights without a doubt from week one and they just deserve a second chance to redeem themselves. However, India declined to participate in this wildcard round, hence giving Krista and Rakia the win by forfeit. The camera loving everything you do. Top model of the crew. You better show it. Yeah, yeah. Tell us nothing left to prove. Every challenge you a top two. Number one about the guys or the dudes. Like, come on, let us face it. You know who the face is. We ain't got the time. All these other models face it. Don't even my line. Couldn't tell me who the favorite. Just one of a kind at a time that we taking. But show must go on. 